one more thing for you here as we wrap up. We've got the bank rec format. These are all just different items so to reconcile. We've got the balance for the bank, balance for the books. I'm going to kind of go through all of these. Deposits and transit, if you're not familiar, well, these items generally are items that the bank doesn't know about. These are items that the generally the book doesn't know about. That's the whole process of a bank rec, is communicating with each balance what it should know about. So the balance for the bank, this gets confusing because it's the balance for the bank on the books, right? The bank balance is always going to be right, that the bank knows about. But for a company, you keep a bank balance and a book balance both in your books, and you reconcile these to make sure that they're the same. This has a lot less items because, again, like I said, the bank knows all. The bank is the one actually holding the money. So you're going to add deposits in transit because the bank doesn't know, generally, if there's any deposits in transit. I mean, once they hit the bank account, sure, it knows, but you want to add those to the balance for the bank. Outstanding checks, the bank doesn't know that someone has a check from you until they deposit it themselves, so you're going to deduct outstanding checks because the bank doesn't know about it. It's all about knowledge, right? And then bank errors, right? Those are just going to be add or subtract. Just like if we hear we've got company errors, add or subtract, those are pretty straightforward. Now, what are some items that we're going to need to adjust for the books? Well, any bank interest that we earn, sure, add that because the books won't know about that unless we actually add that. Electronic deposits, sure. Again, we're going to need to account for those there. Deduct bank fees charged. Awesome. Makes sense, right? So like these are all items that the bank would know about that would be on the bank balance that the books don't know about. Deduct checked printing cost. Yep. Auto payments. Perfect. Return checks. Because really, the only thing the books would know about are just checks we wrote out. And like really these items, right? These are the items that the books are going to know about. And these are the items that the bank will know about. So deduct out return checks, awesome. These are all items that you will definitely see on a cash rec sim, which is a super common type of sim that you'll see.